Welcome to one of the most exclusive Bright Titan cast episodes yet. This week was special, because few things that we were using for such a long time are gone. First, Apple introduced the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Even though we should have seen a new design with this year's iPhone, Apple decided to use the same design from iPhone 6 family with the 7 as well. Yes, it is the same design with few minor changes. For example, the ugly camera from the 6 and 6S is gone and now, camera looks better. Headphone jack is gone too. Our lovely headphone jack which was present on nearly every hardware for several years is gone with the new iPhone 7. Instead, you have three options. You can use the stock Apple adapter to use your normal headphones with iPhone 7 but this way, you will not be able to charge your phone and listen music at the same time. Or you can buy a headphone which uses lightning but again, you cannot charge your phone and listen music simultaneously. The last way is to use a wireless headphone. However, the solutions are stupid. Just think about this. We will see lightning headphones in the upcoming years which will only work with iPhones and iPads. You will not even be able to use those headphones with your MacBook. I am criticizing Apple not because they removed the headphone jack but they didn't come up with a good solution. The other thing that Apple removed from the iPhone 7 is the home button. I mean you will see a home button and it will feel like the old ones but actually, it is not a button at all. The new button, which does not have a name yet, uses the 3D touch technology and apparently will allow you to do more things with it. Anyway, back to the phone's design. There are also total of five colors, silver, gold, rose gold and two new blacks. First black is called as black and it replaces the old space gray. Second one is jet black and it is something new. Unlike the other colors, it is glossy but it scratches quickly than the other colors. On the back, there is a new camera. With the regular iPhone 7, you will not see huge changes but still, its camera has been improved. Now, it is 12 MP and has an aperture of f1.8. The big changes are made on the iPhone 7 Plus which now uses dual camera. This way, you will be able to zoom by switching between two cameras without affecting the resolution of the image. Under the hood, there is a new chipset called A10 Fusion and it is 150 times faster than the first generation and according to Apple, it provides console level gaming. Apple also announced new Apple Watches. They are called a Series 2 but Apple will continue to sell the first generation with the name of Series 1 and upgraded chip switches, by the way, not as fast as the ones on the Series 2. Anyway, the biggest change is the built-in GPS that will make the data tracking more accurate. The battery is also bigger so the Series 2 provides the same battery life the with generation even when you use GPS. When you don't use it though, the battery life lasts really long according to some sources. However, thanks to the bigger battery, New generation is thicker than the first one which wasn't so thin at all. There is also a new chipset. On the Series 2, there is a chip called Apple S2 and on the Series 1, there is Apple S1P. The second generation is even waterproof but unlike the iPhone 7, you can swim with the watch. Other than that, new series is completely same with the last generation. It uses the same design, still does not come with an always-on display and still does not solve the problems with the smart watches. Those were all the products introduced in Apple's September 7th event. This means we didn't see the 10.5-inch iPad Pro or the new thinner MacBook Pro. You still have to wait for those. Anyway, the second event that took place in this week was the Sony's PS4 event which was in the same day with Apple. In the event, Sony introduced PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro. Let's start with the PS4 Slim. It is the new PS4 and except the thinner design and the new controller. Everything is same. It uses the same CPU, GPU and HDD in a smaller package that looks worse than the current model because the first PS4 was elegant and the bottom and the upper was equal. Now, the bottom part is thick and the upper part is thin. Anyway, it also comes with the new controller that looks and behaves same but now, there is one more light bar which is located above the touch surface. More important model was the PS4 Pro which is a competitor for the next year's Project Scorpion. PS4 Pro is the model that we expected with the name, PS4 Neo. It is thicker, heavier and even uglier but has an upgraded GPU and overclocked CPU. This way, PS4 Pro will be able to handle 4K and HDR games. In terms of pricing, PS4 Slim costs $300 and PS4 Pro costs $400. If you ask my opinion though, I think PS4 Slim and Pro are two of the worst decisions that Sony ever made with the PlayStation line. With Xbox One S, Microsoft managed to create a great design that was loved by everyone and even made the console faster. On the other hand, 
Sony PS4 Slim looks awful so does the PS4 Pro. PS4 Pro is even a bigger mistake. The only differences between PS4 Pro and the regular models are the price and 4K. That is all. There is no exclusives or there is no reason for users to upgrade from PS4 to PS4 Pro. Anyway, the last news that we will cover with this episode of Bright Titan Cast is the new naming system for the upcoming Intel processors. With the 7th generation, Cavi Lake, you will not see the name Core M because now, they are called as Core i5 and i7. In other words, slower and faster Intel processors share the same name. This is bad because right now, there is a huge performance gap between Core M and the regular Core i processors. While the Core M struggles to handle even the normal tasks like several open tabs on Chrome or on the other web browsers, Core i is the most popular processor series with a good reputation. However, there is one way to tell if the processor is Core M or Core i. You need to look the SKU number of the processors and if the number includes the letter Y, then it is a real Core i. But, if the number includes the letter U, then it is not a real Core i but a member of the Core M family. And that was all. We came to the end of the 25th episode of Bright Titan Cast. See you on the next week.